what are you doing about the new year, about your resolutions? We heard a little earlier a lot of people want to change jobs. Well, in a study recently conducted in the region, it was discovered that the Middle East has the highest unemployment rates for people between 15 and 24, with one of four young people in that category jobless. Upon graduating from the University of Sharjah, our next guest noticed just how difficult it was to find an entry-level job and decided to do something about it. So she created Gradberry.com. Iba Masood, co-founder and CEO of Gradberry, joins us now. Hello, Iba. Hi, nice Welcome to meet to you guys. Welcome to the show. It's good to have you. Thank you for having me. Are your me. New Year plans uh, sorted? <laughs> um, yes, I'm going to Coldplay. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. No, you, that's it. You, you know, we've been coming up with all our sort of ideas. Look at you. That's what everyone wants to be doing at yes, the moment. Yes, exactly. All right. Now, coming back to business. Now, Gradberry, I really like the name, but tell us a little about what uh, the website offers. Well, basically, um, Gradberry is uh, the Middle East's um, career portal, and it's exclusively for students and fresh graduates. So, you know, if you're a student and um, either you're in your first year or second year, you're looking for internships to um, basically add experience to your uh, resume and really, you know, I would say get uh, hit the ground running um, and find out more about uh, what it is like to actually practice your major in the real world. And if you're a graduate who's looking for, um, you know, either training programs, graduate schemes or um, entry level positions, then gradberry.com is where you would go. Now this is really uh, interesting because when I just finished college and came to Dubai like three years ago, any website I went to was asking for a minimum of two to three years of work experience. So I was thinking, what, what about the ones who start off fresh? Wh where do we go? And gradberry.com does exactly that, isn't it? Yes, um, I mean, that's actually the problem that I faced as well when I graduated in 2010. Um, I was, you know, just on the, on the job hunt, um, going online and trying to find um, positions, but I realized that uh, basically these websites, they don't offer positions for people with zero to two years of experience. Mm -hmm. Then when I started working, um, I realized that employers are looking for, um, you know, fresh talent and um, graduates to enter their organizations, but they didn't know where to go. Hmm. How does your site differ from existing sites and others out there at the moment, other recruitment companies? Um, well, basically, um, what we do is that uh, we are posting um, job advertisements mm. from uh, employers, and how we differ is that you won't find, you know, the scam job postings yeah. that you know are available um, at, on, on other websites. The wow jobs. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, there because there. I mean, recent studies um, have shown that the amount of um, scam jobs that are out there are absolutely ridiculous. Right. People, you know, fresh and especially fresh graduates. It's normally these scam companies. Um, I would say they focus on fresh grads. Because you know they're naive, um, and uh, you know they get phone calls from these companies, and they're in invited over um, for interviews on Fridays, uh, and <laughs> and then they're asked to pay like a, you know a, a fee um, in order to move forward in the interview process. Mm -hmm. I know and I know quite a few people who've been victim to this. Actually, it's a serious issue. Here. Exactly, and you know it was looking at um, looking at these uh, events and incidents, and um, also looking at the job market itself. That you know I decided to go ahead mm. and basically launch um, the website. You launched. You launched in November this year. Yes. Um, how many people have you affected now? How many people have hit the site? Um, well, so far we've had about um, 30,000. Uh, yes, 30,000. Um, what? Just over a month or something. Um, <laughs> this is um, since I would say uh, September, because September we started product development okay. and did a bit of beta testing with the, with a few users, and since then it's uh, now it's hit 30,000 wow. mm. in December. Amazing. Now, it's also a good opportunity for the companies out there who are looking for fresh talent because I know a lot of companies out there who want to employ freshers and train them and, you know, sort of uh, build them up a little bit. Now, uh, does your website also deal with uh, multinational companies? Yes. Um, currently, we have um, had uh, several job postings from multinationals, from SMEs, and as well as startup companies as well because um, one of the issues that startup companies face um, is basically hiring, um, you know, the right talent and hiring fresh talent mm. since you know they they don't have a lot of um, startup capital so they would like to um, basically you know s start off with um, hiring fresh grads and uh, that is definitely something that we've seen um, you know from multinationals to SMEs alike are posting jobs we saw a little early didn't we we just mentioned those, those those striking figures of the ages between 15 and 24 year olds here in the region at the moment but I mean you know a lot of people say hang on I've got my, my, my degree I've got my qualifications I want money now what, what's what's the benefit of being an intern in a company, would you say? Um, well, basically, um, there are paid and unpaid internships course, yeah. uh, available. Um, and with, I would say that being an intern in a company really allows you to um, dip your feet 
in the career that you're looking to pursue. Um, and whether you are, in, uh, you know, whether you, I would say, um, are a student or even a graduate, yeah. internships can really help because, um, you know, the studies show that basically um, s students and graduates who already have internship experience mm -hmm. are more likely to move further in, you know, in their career yeah. and on, on the career ladder. Um, because it was, I mean, I did about three internships before I finally decided, you know, that I wanted to go into corporate finance, sure. which then I left. <laughs> to start yes, yeah. exactly. I love the fruit um, relationship as well. Planting fruitful careers. You've got the fruit bowl on there. Passion fruit of talent, etc. Startup shizzle. Where did it all yes. come? Where's the fruit <laughs> relationship come from? Um, well, basically, um, you know, I remember like brainstorming for about a month or two months about the name and, you know, just the overall um, strategy. Yeah. and. What I realized is that students um, and especially fresh graduates, you know, we're like seeds. You know, we're, we're the seeds of the future. Right. And what we need is um, nurturing and we need to be planted in the right way mm. so that, you know, we grow and we become grad berries. <laughs> <laughs> we grow into, I would say, you know, uh, and, and have fruitful careers. So that's, that's grab breeze. Mm. Yeah. full of enthusiasm, full <laughs> exactly, of Exactly, full of energy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, I'm sure that Gradbury is definitely uh, a huge, uh, what do you say, opportunity for upcoming graduates and freshers out mm. there. What's the advice you'd like to give uh, to the people out there who are currently job hunting? Um, well, I think um, one, of my, one of my first pieces of advice mm. would be that, uh, firstly, know what you're looking for, you know? You know what, I don't want to give too many pieces of advice away <laughs> because what I want to do is get people onto the website and we've got pomegranates being uh, cut over there. So not to <laughs> mess around with the fruits and everything. I want to get everyone onto the website, which is grabberry.com. Unfortunately, we run out of time on this occasion, but mm -hmm. bless you, thanks very much. Great Thank idea, you. Thank you. great website, great to meet you. Thank very you for impressive. having me, it was a pleasure. Thank uh, you. We're going to shoot over to the kitchen and see how that pomegranate reacts to this whole thing. Oh, I haven't talked to